Those were those were fun. Um, <laughs> I have another one here. Can I talk about my next one? Yes, please. I want to talk about the wombat. You basically introduced me to the wombat. I'm a recent sort of fan. I was not familiar really with the wombat. I'm a recent fan of the wombat. Everybody, I think, knows my proclivities for the the humble capybara, the big rodent, the big and wonderful rodent. They've got little little teeth inside of their huge, huge faces and. Uh, they got like horse hooves basically and it's really great and i think my admiration for the wombat is sort of also like there except like the wombat if this is even possible is even smaller and maybe even cuter than the capybara more bear-like definitely sort of more spherical this is a round mound of sound here smaller Smaller. definitely they usually get grow to be about one meter in length um oh wow. you're gonna have to convert that for me <laughs> i think that meter is meter three feet or is yard three feet yard is three feet meters like what three point i have no f- idea fuck. <laughs> so w- rachel and i are both scientists <laughs> that's why we do this show wombats are go look at a picture of a wombat before we get started if you're not familiar because mm. i didn't think I, I i think i before i saw my first wombat I think I thought they were something completely different. I think I, I thought they too. were like weird, nasty rats, or maybe even literally bats. Yeah, I thought they were more bat-like. I thought they may have been sort of a flying creature of some sort. No, these are just little, um, sort of a mix between a capybara and like a koala bear. You and know how I know something is cute? Hmm. When I think about putting clothes on it. Oh, okay. That's how, that's my metric. Like, if I see an animal and I think, what would that animal look like in overalls? That means that I think it's cute. Yeah. And a wombat definitely, definitely would, would be great. good. And I think a wombat would be into it. I think a wombat <laughs> would definitely be into it. They are uh, marsupials that are native to Australia. Um, marsupials are like 100% great. They are batting a thousand, definitely. Is there an, oh, is there an ugly, cute. is there an ugly, like awful marsupial? I'm sure there is, but let's not think about that. <laughs> let's think about the good ones, like the wombat. The wombat is so good. Um, here's a fact from Wikipedia. Though genetic studies of the uh, Vombitidae have been under... That's the... Wom- whatever. That's what nerds call them. <laughs> uh, have been undertaken. Evolution of the family is not well understood. Wombats are estimated to have diverged from other Australian marsupials relatively early, as long as 40 million years ago, while some estimates place divergence at around 25 million years. Where did these Whoa. fucking things come from? I don't know. They're wicked old, and we don't know where they came from, but they are, I think, maybe... I think God put them here on Earth. That, this, so that means like they're angels. There's think, maybe caveman drawings of who knows? wombats. Uh, no, baby, you're going to get us slammed because I do not know the time periods at which different <laughs> things did and did not exist. Well, I, they were definitely here before us, right? Uh, I mean, we've only been here six thousand years. Or s- <laughs> um, no, I, I don't, I don't know anything about anything. But what I do know is that nobody knows where these wombats came from, and that delights me to no end. They're such a wonderful little creature. Um, Wikipedia describes them as short-legged, muscular, quadrupedal marsupials. And I love that because it's oh, they do. If you look at them through like that. like little Tony Robbins. If you look at them through. That's <laughs> weird that that's where you went. Uh, they're like little Brock Lesnar's. If you look at them and you just think like these are soft, sweet little animals. That's great. But if you look at them, they look like really like if they were bigger, like actually like Kodiak bear size, they'd be fucking ripped. Yeah. But because they're so tiny, you look at them, you're just like, look at those little tiny No, if tiny they were bigger, piggies. they'd be very prehistoric-like, I think. Um, let me tell you, I watched, I was Googling a video uh, of, of wombats to get prepared for this, sort of emotionally, mm-hmm. and also because it's a <laughs> Tuesday, and I needed that strength in my life. Yes. And there's a lot of ones of just, like, them hanging out in a, a you know, a big backpack, just, like, cuddling around, and Oof. there's one of, like, a guy laying in a field, and a little Are guy Are there any of up. them eating? What do they eat? Uh, plants. Plant stuff. Okay. Uh, they're very, 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 very... There's two, as far as I could tell, records of uh, um, attacks, of wombat <laughs> uh, to human attacks. Two. That's fucking great. <laughs> Earth's been around for a trillion years or so. <laughs> Two wombat attacks is not. Oh, they've been repping the set for like forty million to twenty five yeah, million years. Better than Two, sharks. Be- way better than sharks. Let's not get out on sharks though. They've they're going through a tough time. <laughs> Wombats are. I was looking and there was one where like a guy was trying to water some plants at like a some sort of mm-hmm. habitat in Australia, and this wombat kept like running up to his feet and legs, just wanting some love. But he's like, oh, "Get out of here!" Nice. Go. I think I've seen that one. <laughs> then I watched a video done by a gentleman who is, as far as I can tell, an extreme Australia explorer, and his particular jam is getting in abandoned sewer tunnels, like very, very, very narrow spaces, which sent me down into a tizzy. 
Um, and it was listed as uh, a a wombat attack. And I was like, well, I do need to do my prep work for this. I got to know if these creatures are vicious because if so, I don't want to promote them. And what he explained and what Wikipedia backed up, and by the way, he explained this while showing his like GoPro video of him climbing through this like super narrow tunnel. And then there's a, <laughs> a wombat and then he freaks the fuck out, which I thought he was being childish. But then uh, let me read this from Wikipedia. Their primary defense is their toughened rear hide, with most of the posterior made of cartilage. This, combined with uh, its lack of a meaningful tail, makes it difficult for any predator that follows the wombat into its tunnel to bite and injure its target. When attacked, wombats dive into a nearby tunnel, using their rumps to block a pursuing attacker. A wombat may allow an intruder to force its head over the wombat's back, and then use its powerful legs to crush the skull of the predator against the roof of the tunnel, or drive it off with its two-legged Kicks like those of a donkey. Hi, welcome to my house. I'm going to fucking destroy you with my oh, big, my heavy butt. butt. Hi, yeah, come on. In my, oh, you're going to bite my butt? Oh, you're going to bite my butt? <clears throat> oh, enjoy. Oh, it seems like you're having trouble. Maybe it's because it's uh, hard as a rock back there. That's incredible. You thought you could just have a meal of my dumps? Yeah, come here. Come a little closer. Get it right above my butt. Okay. Squish. Oh, no, your head exploded because I used my big and powerful and adorable butt, my big and powerful and fucking rock hard tushy to destroy your fucking head. Can we develop a workout video called Wombat Ass and it's just us doing kind of lunges and squats to really tone up the posterior so that we can, as humans, develop a tough, strong Wombat Ass? Maybe or maybe I can just get some sort of cartilage implant back there to just give me that really powerful. <laughs> I just like I cannot get <laughs> Take over the cartilage from my nose. Yeah, get it all out of there. Put my it in my, my butt. shoulders, knees, get it all out of there. Put it all in my butt. <laughs> what I can't get over is this image of like um, you know, a Tasmanian devil. Are they carnivores? I don't know anything about anything. A big wolf chasing a chasing a wombat. Wombat dives in the tunnel. Wolf's like, Haha, sucker, now you're trapped. And the wombat's like. I'm not in here with you. You're in here with me. Squish. Like, oh, you're trying to bite my butt. Because so I think, because I, I get that, like, evolution and, like, instinct, like, t- t- teaches this out of animals where, like, you know, like, okay, well, I'm not going to fuck with that animal because they have this advantage in this home turf. I do not think that this is a thing that anybody could ever learn because you see a wombat and you're like, I'm going to fucking pop that in my mouth, like, pop secret. And then it goes into a hole and you're like, yum, 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 dinner time. And then your head is destroyed by its huge, powerful ass. What if you could breed a wombat and a skunk? wouldn't that be incredible so if they're not deterred by you spraying them with your smell right that's sort of the non-lethal tactic you just smush them with your butt yeah oh my god so that guy in that video that i was talking about he sees this wombat and he's like no and he like gets out because he gives like this testimonial being in a video like that was one of the scariest things that's ever happened to me i've gone on a lot of adventures and based on his youtube channel he has and he was like and it is not it would not be that hard for that wombat to back up and suffocate me fuck yes wombat <laughs> don't don't murder wombat but like the fact that you can with your butt is extremely good oh to me gosh. again i'm sorry babe i think i i think capybara is slipping a little bit down the list yeah i think capybaras are great i don't think my exposure to them is as, as tremendous since the nagasaki biopark vine isn't uh, available anymore yeah. um but these wombats are adorable as shit they want all they want to do is snuggle and they want attention and snuggle. And also, if you go into their tunnel, they'll destroy your fucking head with their yeah, big, powerful, powerful butt. Butts. Best and, animal. And they look really good in like a little straw hat. Oh. oh, man. Can we get suspenders on one of these things? I don't know how we're going to fit it over. You put suspend, you put any kind of pants over that big butt. And it's a like, little oh, really? Spectacles, little spectacles on its head. Holy shit. 